Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to the channel and today I have another Demon Slayer figure to review for you guys and this time it's the Van Presto DXF of Makomo. I've already unboxed, of course, the brother of Makomo, which is Sabito. And I uh, can't wait to see this character. She is also one of the supporting characters from the anime and I'm really glad that they made a uh, figure of her. So I got my figure at Miss Manila last time in 2022 at their booth for a very very for a very low price so it's one of the best deals that i've got there so yeah i'll put the link down in the description on how you can get this figure thank you very much again mr manila so with that come and join me and let's unbox the figure before we open the box let's take a closer look at it first but before that i'll just show you some freebies that i got when i bought this one so they gave me these really nice stickers from Mr. Manila. Yeah, they always have the nicest stickers. So anyway, uh, I'll just put it on the side first. So this is what the box looks like. So as always, we'll get the Band Presto logo on the upper right. Bandai logo here. Uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba logo. And of course, it has that Demon Slayer theme going on, but this time it has this pinkish tint color to it. Of course, to follow Makomo's color theme so this is a side another photo of the figure so the back doesn't have writings here and okay so this is the figure b here as it's shown and we have sabito as the figure a so this is the sepia version of sabito and the top of course it says seals outside japan only and the figure b and this is the bottom so now let's open the box get three pieces here this. so this is what we'll get from the box so now let's put it all together it's a very straightforward assembly just put the head here it's simply like that unfortunately the peg is also on her feet but considering her pose it actually makes sense that the peg is there and we really have to use the base oops okay there you go it looks one way like that and yep it's a simple figure but it looks so good so now let's take a closer look at the figure before we take a closer look at the figure, let's measure her first. So she stands at around six and a half inches from the base to the head or 16 centimeters. So that's a normal size for a DXF figure. And let's take a closer look at the head first. This actually this figure is looking really great actually. So yeah, so here is the head. And she looks very nice. Look at that. She's very cute. And she has this, uh, I'm not sure how to describe her expression here, but a little bit uh, mysterious, I guess. And she's wearing her mask. There you go, to protect her from demons. They sculpted her hair very well here. I really love the mask. It, gives this a really special uh, look to it and her outfit looks really good I'm not sure what you call this but her I think it's a haori uh, or kimono it looks very cute it has this flower uh, pattern there you go it's good she also has this uh, ribbon on her waist with a dark blue or purplish uh, well, I don't know what you call this the top of her top and uh, she's not wearing any socks or something I hope she doesn't get cold <laughs> anyway she's wearing this shoes here you go sandals of some sort and yeah like I said before she, 
yeah, you really have to use the base because uh, you can't actually, even if the peg will be on the base, she can't stand on her own because of the pose of her legs. So, yeah, you really have to use uh, this base. So there you go. Hands looks good. And uh, yeah, the figure looks awesome. Okay, so as a quick comparison, I bring out, of course, the brother here. Sabito and yes, they look so good. I just wish the base weren't this big so you can actually push them together closely like this. So yeah. But anyway, we have to make do with what we have. And finally, I'll bring out the original Tanjiro Kamado figure. And yes, they all look awesome. That's my quick comparison of the figures they look so good she's my favorite actually and uh, on these three figures she looks so cute there you go so overall i really love this makomo figure it really looks like her it they, they captured her image and likeness very well i really love the design of the mask on her head the pose that they gave her look is very fitting for her personality i really like it and yeah if you're a fan of demon slayer and you're looking to get a makomo figure i highly recommend checking this figure out there's not a lot of sabito and makomo figures out there as far as i know we only have this and the nandoroid ones but i may be uh, wrong so comment below if you know other figures of makomo and sabito so anyway I got my figure at Mainstream Manila. Thank you very much, Mainstream Manila. I'll put the link down in the description on how you can get this figure. Also, don't forget to check out our website for more information about this figure and for great collectible deals. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm David once again, and always remember to unbox your toys.